contemporary work with mid 90 the century pop art characteristics. Just like then, we can find examples of tying together famous icons with the everyday, mundane, transient, or expendable. A lot like cyber sex, or hamburgers, milkshakes, french fries. Remember when part of the internet didn't know the onion was satire? Pop art loves to critique society with exaggerated irony. It often employs satire to question consumerism and industrialism in American culture. Here we can see pop art characteristics, but through a modern lens. Where mid-century pop art used bold, bright, but flat colors, contemporary pop art has had a 90s vaporwave color palette obsession for a while now. Plus, I mean, look at this. I know we're aliens, but this is campy, and that choice says something about celebrity. Doja Cat's aesthetic in this video, you might even call post-vaporwave. This scene is a perfect transition into the next recognizable pop art characteristic, celebrity. Is Doja channeling Janet Jackson right now? For real. Is that my Bessie in a Tessie? How LA is this video? Perfect body from working out every day, chilling by a pool in the hills. NBD. I tried to stick to just Doja Cat, but this scene is just too celebrity. Stark depictions of celebrity reality are totally pop art. Imagine life before mass copies. Now recall 1987. Lisa Frank was unavoidable. Popular gimmicky and low production value. These are all characteristics for recognizing pop art. Look for playful but pointed irony to recognize pop art influenced work today. It sometimes feels almost sassy in that it might be easily overlooked if it were not so contextually poignant. This rings conceptually similar to satire on social commentary or the juxtaposition of two realities, stark in their contrast in both being otherwise considered normal life. As we see in the pairing of celebrity with the ordinary, 